but today i'm going to talk in uh, english so for those who are watching me regularly let me tell you why am i talking in english uh, right now so i uploaded a video called a farm decodes explanation in tamil and a few of you have requested me to do the same video in english uh, so it would help everyone so i thought of doing this particular video in english uh, and if you're watching me for the first time let me introduce uh, myself i'm a farm d intern student i'm doing my internship right now and i'll be completing it in about 3 uh, to 4 months uh, so i am going to discuss about how you can uh, join farm d codes uh, what are the subjects in farm d what are the job opportunities uh, and uh, what is the salary we can expect in india after the completion of a farm d course so i'll be discussing about all this in this video so uh, let's get into the topic uh, so first one is uh, uh, how you can join farm d codes uh, so i'll be talking about tamil nadu since i am from tamil nadu so first uh, there is a government college one government college in tamil nadu for farm d so that is called annamalai university and they have allotted few seats for students from other states also if you are interested to join in that university you can apply for that you can search about that in google like annamalai university and the fees will be about 50000 per year and there is no donation it's completely a government university and government counseling pure merit so second is like there are deemed universities like jss university ramachandra wales university there are about 9 to 10 deemed universities and they'll be conducting an entrance exam individually for their university and they'll be selecting students for their colleges and the third category is a colleges affiliated to dr mgr university that is the government university in tamil nadu dr mgr university and in this universities they will be uh, selecting you based on your 12th marks like if you get your mark above 75 to 80 percentage uh, they will be selecting and it depends upon the colleges the fees the donation everything depends upon the college so approximately uh, you will be spending uh, like uh, from 15 lakhs to 20 lakhs uh, for the complete 6 uh, years and it also depends upon the college for uh, every year you will be spending about uh, 3 lakhs this is my approximate calculation to tell you in average uh, in a uh, common okay what are the subjects we will be studying in uh, farm d uh, so you will be having yearly uh, yearly examination in tamil nadu i'll speak about tamil nadu because i am from tamil nadu so we will be having a university examination in october every year yearly one examination that is a non semester and from first year to fourth year you will be studying six subjects and in fifth year you will be having three subjects and you will also do a project and sixth year is internship you don't have any subjects so i'll be telling about the subjects so in first year you will be studying a human anatomy and physiology i'm not going to explain every subject in detail so it will get a very big video so i'll be telling you the headings so first we'll be studying human anatomy and physiology and we'll be having pharmaceutical organic chemistry pharmaceutical inorganic chemistry and medicinal biochemistry and you will have a chemistry in this three subjects and you will also have a pharmaceutics it's a subject it will be regarding the drugs their formulations like that and we had another subject remedial biology or remedial maths actually people who are studying computer science group also can join farm d but it depends upon the colleges like in psd college in tamil nadu they will take only biology group students so it depends upon the college if you are studying a computer science group and you are joining a farm d you will have to study remedial biology in first year if you are a biomax student you can choose a max or biology it will be your choice so when we wrote exam it was compulsory we wrote university exam but now they have made it like only for internal exams or no university exams so currently they will be writing only five university exams in our first year so this is about first year in second year again you will have six subjects so you will start the major subjects from second year like a pharmacology it is completely about the drugs mechanism of action like absorption distribution metabolism elimination of every drugs so pharmacology one you will study in second year and the pharmacotherapeutics it is completely about the disease management like stroke so every disease you will study completely about the etiology epidemiology management non pharmacological management pharmacological management and everything so these two are the major subjects because you will have the same subjects in the third year also so pharmacology and the pharmacotherapeutics and community pharmacy like how you can mingle with community you will have community pharmacy you will have a subject called the microbiology 
and uh, you will have a subject called uh, pharmacognosy. Uh, these are the subjects uh, you will be studying in your uh, second year. Actually, I left a subject uh, what uh, called pharmacology. Uh, microbiology and uh, therapeutics, uh, pharmacognosy and uh, what is a uh, community pharmacy and uh, pathophysiology. You will be studying a uh, pathophysiology also in second year like uh, the disease pathophysiology like tuberculosis, uh, meningitis. Of, you will study the pathophysiology of various diseases. These are the subjects you will be covering in your second year. And the third year as I told you will have a uh, pharmacology and uh, pharmacotherapeutics. Uh, Pharmacology is a completely about the mechanism of drugs. If you take a drug uh, through your mouth and uh, until elimination, the complete mechanism you will be studying in pharmacology and the pharmacotherapeutics, it's disease management, you will have those two subjects. And uh, apart from that, you will have a medicinal chemistry, full of chemistry, like uh, you will study the chemical structure of every drug. Okay, it will be little tough. So, uh, medicinal biochem not medicinal biochemistry is in first year, medicinal chemistry is in third year. Then you will have a subject called formulations. It will be uh, like, uh, it will be similar to pharmaco gee, pharmaceutics you studied in first year uh, formulations. And apart from that, you will have jurisprudence. It is completely like law. Uh, it will be like law, like if you are having a cocaine or morphine. So, what should we do like that? You will be studying regarding the laws, uh, laws and regulations. And you have another subject in third year pharmaceutical analysis you will study physics in that in that subject a pharmaceutical analysis and in a fourth year you will be studying a pharmacotherapeutics third so you will be studying pharmacotherapeutics for consecutive three years and apart from that you will have clinical pharmacy hospital pharmacy and you will have biostatistics you will have biopharmaceutics and uh, pharmacokinetics and uh, you will also have toxicology like toxicology will be interesting you will study about uh, snake bites so how to uh, manage the toxins or poisons you will be studying regarding that so after completion of four years only for four years you will be writing six papers and when you enter fifth year you will have only three papers like a uh, clinical research you will be studying regarding the research and you will have a uh, pharmacoepidemiology uh, you you all, you should know about epidemiology already if you complete four years like how how incidence prevalence you'll be studying regarding that and third one is the therapeutic drug monitoring this is a subject you'll be studying in fifth year and you will be doing a project for a six months in the fifth year and internship is completely it depends upon the college you're studying and the hospital you're working there is no standard format <clears throat> for internship so it depends upon your college and hospital and these are the subjects you will be uh, studying and basically you should have a slight interest in chemistry or you should have the passion to study PharmD or you should try to study uh, chemistry because uh, you will have chemistry in first year and third year and it will be a little hard if you don't like chemistry. So I wanted to tell that if you should be little much interested in chemistry and after that uh, job opportunities. So our primary job is to work as a clinical pharmacist in a hospital that is the primary goal of studying uh, PharmD. But after taking PharmD, many people are not interested in uh, working as clinical pharmacist. So apart from being a clinical pharmacist, you can also be in clinical research, pharmacovigilance. So you should know that pharmacovigilance is uh, like uh, monitoring of ADR, post-marketing uh, surveillance is uh, pharmacovigilance. And uh, there are few people who are working as physician assistant. I have seen people uh, study, who study PharmD and working as a physician assistant. And there are also people who are working as a professors or lecturers for PharmD students if they are not interested in any of these. And these are the job opportunities. I know even people can go in medical coding, but it is like an under job. That's not our cup of tea like that. So next is about a salary. So the starting salary in India is if you just Google it, you will get like 15K or 20K. The star starting salary will be like from 20,000 to 25,000. It depends upon the city or it depends upon the place where you work or the hospital you work. So starting salary will be little uh, less when compared to the abroad countries. So if you have to go to abroad countries, you have to write the entrance exams that they are conducting and it will be really tough for us because our syllabus and everything differs from the foreign countries. So you have to prepare very hard to uh, pass those examinations uh, like Middle East and these Arab countries. It might be uh, easier when compared to the other countries, but it will be a slight tougher for us to uh, pass those examinations. And I hope I have given a very brief explanation about uh, PharmD codes and I hope this video is useful for you. And if you're watching uh, first time, uh, please subscribe to this uh, channel and until next video, bye.